They're monitoring the latest as this tropical storm is about to make landfall. And of course, it doesn't officially make landfall until the center of the storm moves on shore. But it's already been a prolific rainmaker across the state, bringing in some severe thunderstorm activity and plenty of rainfall. I'm going to be showing you some of those rainfall totals right now as we continue to monitor the latest where some spots near Fort Myers, Sarasota and up into Tampa have received up to 12 inches of rainfall rain fall so far so you can see those dark spots of blue that's where we're recording about 12 inches of rainfall the lighter spots of green about three inches so going from the green to the yellow to the orange we just continue to build with those rainfall totals but up near where the storm is preparing to make landfall right now look at this where you see this pink and gray that's up to 16 inches of rainfall so far and we're going to continue to add to that total as well as currently the storm producing wind speeds of 16 65 miles per hour and 35 miles west of Cedar Key, Florida. Again, about to make landfall will continue across Georgia up into the Carolinas and make its path along the East Coast. We'll be bringing in wind speeds into the 40 mile per hour range and expected to bring in more of the soaking rain as Florida has already seen plenty of rainfall so far and expected to see even more with storm surge up to five feet possible where that storm is making landfall right now. So, of course, we're going to continue to keep a close eye on that. We're also keeping a close eye on our local forecast because we have a lot going on in terms of all of the heat. It's 92 degrees and it's 718 in the morning and less than an hour. We're going to have an excessive heat warning going into effect. The wind is calm, but the temperatures are hot. 87 is where we're at currently in Aliante with 88 in Ellis Air Force Base, 90 in Boulder City and 91 across Mountain's Edge and Southern Highlands. That is what we are dealing with this morning with current wind speeds to 13 in Henderson. The rest of our valley seeing wind speeds nice and calm. But here's that excessive heat warning we've been telling you about. Temperatures having the potential to reach up to 115 over the next few days. Even a heat advisory for our local mountains where temperatures could range between 90 and 100 degrees. 9 a.m. 99 by 1 p.m. will be at 108, 4 p.m. 112 and by 7 p.m. will be at 110 as we keep the wind nice and calm. Daytime high today of 1 113 putting us three degrees shy from tying the record high but by tomorrow we're on track to make it into the record books as we have hotter days ahead excessive heat all week and then we'll be returning some monsoon moisture into the mix as of right now not expecting to see any storms but you're going to notice an increase in humidity over the next few days as high pressure does remain in place we'll be drying up some moisture from the south again not preparing for a chance of showers but those hot temperatures are in place we are on track to tie the record high thursday into friday on track to smash a record on saturday will be two degrees shy from tying the record high Sunday into Monday, and it will be breezy as we hit Monday into early next week as temperatures finally drop below 110. That is a look at weather for now. Alyssa and Jace, I'll send it back over to you.